Uh. Yeah? Jody. Hey, it's, it's Ryan. Ryan? I was just wondering if you got my email. What, wait, what, what email? The one I sent three days ago. You know, I've, I've actually been having problems with my computer. What, what was the email about? Dinner, tonight, fancy restaurant. <laughs> anyway, it, it's too late now, so maybe another time? Shit. Shit, I'm so sorry. I... You, no, why, why don't you just come over here for dinner tonight? I mean, you wanted to see my apartment anyway, so... Uh, sure, but I... How about around eight? Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring a kick-ass bottle of wine. See you later. A kick-ass bottle of wine. <laughs> Now I get why you blasted my computer. You didn't want me to see Ryan. It's not your call, Aiden. I can do what I want. Fuck this. Fuck this! We're not gonna start this again. I'm not yours, Aiden. I can have a relationship with whoever I want. This is my life. Oh, do you fucking hear me? This is my life. You know what? I happen to think Ryan is great. He's charming, he's intelligent, he's funny. And I think I'm falling for him. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's seven o'clock. I have an hour to make dinner, tidy up, and make myself look. She is not happy. So here's a, co a key role-playing moment, because you can play as her and try to fix this place up. And you can also play as Aiden to try to ruin things, because obviously he doesn't want them to date. Uh, in the past, I've screwed the whole thing up because I think the romance I is kind of dumb. I know I'd to learn to cook someday, but I didn't expect it to be so soon. The game kind of forgets to uh, introduce the idea that, uh, you know, that she and Ryan like each other. <laughs> The scenes up to now is like, Ryan's a dick, Ryan's a dick, Ryan's a dick, Ryan's a dick. They're loving each other now. I'm like, why'd that happen? Stop. No. I was trying to look. There's something to look at here, and it's, the problem goes away when I actually look at it. There we go. So that's the clock. We have a time limit here. So I need to get dressed, and I need to try to prepare. I need to try to clean this place up, and I might constantly try to screw with things. And I cannot find anything interact. Oh, the cookbook, right. I need the cookbook before I can actually I find do anything. I can make in one hour with what's ever left in the fridge. I was getting ahead of myself trying to find ingredients. Asian beef. Oh, I mean, that looks good. It's not too complicated. Not too complicated is probably the right call. Curried chicken with oven-baked vegetables. It'll take some time in the oven, but... It seems doable. Pizza delivery. I mean, it's... Not exactly gourmet, but it... it no preparation, no mess. I mean, it could be an option. Let's do Asian beef. You said it was easy. Yeah. Asian beef. I mean, it looks suitably exotic. <laughs> as long as I don't manage to fuck it up. Yes, easy sounds good because we're trying to also clean this place up, hopefully, in the, in the meantime. All right. Do you know what we need? I hope you need. I hope you know what we need. <laughs> I couldn't read the recipe. So I'm gonna roll. I'm a, I'm gonna actually try to do the date right for once. I played this with Andrew a couple of years ago, and thanks for the knife. <laughs> thanks, Aiden. It's made that as creepy as hell, huh? All right. Is there a quick time event for this one? She's gonna cut herself, isn't she? I, gen I genuinely don't remember whether she does or not.
That's why you gotta chew gum when you whenever you're cutting onions. It'll stop you from crying. But yeah, I have negative feelings about the whole Ryan thing just because he's a dick nonstop, and then suddenly it's like they love each other now, and it's like you forgot to show the part where that happens. You just skip to them already being having a new relationship. So far, so good. No next step. You're not gonna tell me what to do next. All right. Well, I probably need pots. Hello. You're too short for your own apartment. Poor, poor girl. She, Ellen Page is a tiny woman. There you go. This is why a lot of people tend to have step ladders in their kitchens. Because stepping on top of a stool is a little too far, usually. Hello? Hopefully I'm not screwing this up. She's not exactly telling me what to use, so I'm just gonna hope I don't screw up. There we go. Hopefully I won't burn it. Um... Pepper? Put it away. Salt. I assume we're supposed to use all of them, but I don't know. I'll try a little bit of each and see if that works out. Ginger. What? It's supposed to be an aphrodisiac. I mean, it's not in the recipe, but. Um, sure. I mean, I need all the help I can get. Why not? Let's get some- let's get her laid. <laughs> Do I like move it around? There we go. Oh, that- that seems like it's pretty dangerous. Alright, add the sake for flavor. Nailed it. Oh. I think I'm beginning to like cooking. That's a flavor, I guess. Burnt flavor, my Ryan, favorite. Ryan, you're gonna love this. Alright, how long do we cook it for? Crap. Crap, he's early. I'm coming! You know, you're wasting your time, Aiden. You're not gonna stop me from seeing Ryan. Look at you and your funny pranks, Aiden. Cause me problems. He's ringing the doorbell on me. I have a ghost that does doorbell ditching. Alright, let's- we need to get clothes on. <laughs> we need to wear clothes to a date. Let's see here. Where are your- there it is, closet. Oh crap. Do I have time to take a shower first? Uh, you should try. Quickly. I have no idea how much time we actually have. This It's funny, I just referenced not too long ago the idea that, uh... Uh, Quantic Dream slash David Cage, like, they like to do these... Things where you're in a room and real time is passing. Do some stuff. And this is totally that again. In Heavy Rain, there's a whole segment where you're just trying to... You, it's like, it's like, here's 20 minutes to try to be a parent. Good luck. There was a little controversy at one point where, apparently, people would mod the game to change the camera angle, as you would expect them to, and just look at the body, and it is a fully rendered nude body, but it is specifically not Ellen Page's. It's just a made-up body. She actually has a no-nudity clause in her uh, contract for movies and games and stuff like that, so she won't do nude, nude scenes. Which is why you don't see anything.
But that doesn't stop the modding audience from doing exactly what they'll always do. Alright, try to get the rest of your clothes on now. Oh, this is the bathroom. Got a little mixed up. What? Hey, are you leaving me messages? Wow, that's the most direct com communication we've ever had. You don't need him, you have me. Christ, Aiden. Look, you just don't get it. Probably should have wiped the rest of it out. Oh well. <laughs> Maybe the steam will dissipate. What should I wear? Let's see. Elegant? Try that. Oh, hello, Ryan. Oh, do you like it? Classic, elegant, je ne sais quoi. Classy. It's the new me, and it shows that I can adapt to any situation. You might as well just give up, Aiden. Okay? This date is going on. Period. I would be really mad. Freaking mirrors? You're ruining my you're ruining my stuff. Shame on you. <laughs> At least pillows are just pillows. I have to pay for the mirrors. You don't know what it's like to have a job, Aiden. But yeah, it's interesting to see the notes, because that means that Aiden can write. Okay, I can't interact with it, so I assume it's not gonna just burn on its own. Don't know how that part works necessarily. Here we go. Come on, Aiden, don't be a pain in the ass. I'm just gonna try to tidy this place up. You got, you got. Oh, oh, look at all this garbage, filthy. Did she just turn away from the smell? How long has it been there? Holy crap! Right. The trash can in the kitchen. Thank you, tutorial. This is pretty much what Quantic Dream lives to do. They like to have pulse-pounding, important decisions, but they also just love to be like, here's a room, interact with this room a lot. It's like their favorite. We're just swiping them under. That's great. Um, I can still see those, by the way. It's not, not clean yet. Is there anything else in here? Oh, what's that? You can take a break. There's no time for breaks. We have to set the table or something. Oh right, isn't the laptop over here? Can we like put that away? Oh, it's our movie collection that's everywhere. Alright, books. Oh, they're okay, books. On the bookshelf. Um, is that a bookshelf? There we go. Great. It's a, oh, it's a DVD box set of Empires, it looks like. Romantic was too dumb for me, I couldn't take it. <laughs> Alright, there's music playing. Just to add that extra layer of copyright. What else do we have around here? Am I, am I all set? Oh, dishes. We, have to, we probably have to do the dishes, don't we? I can't make her face it, damn it. <laughs> there we go. It's just like real life, you don't start fixing everything up till the moment that people are coming over. Then suddenly, you're the cleanest fucker in the entire town. Let's see here. I don't have to set- do I have to set the table? Do I have to set the table? I don't see the interaction. Alright. Can I check the... Nope. Can I look at the cookbook? To like, review the recipe? Nope. Alright, I'm just gonna assume that it's gonna not burn itself. Because I don't seem to have the option to do anything about it. 
Is there anything left to do? Did I nail it? Oh wait, I have jeans on my... There's still jeans out on my table. That's not what I was going for. Chill out, Jody. Okay, just calm down. There's no need to panic. You're gonna be great. All right, pep talk. I was trying to clean though. There we go. Right, She's fast. In the basket in the bathroom. Magical teleporting powers here. All right, there. All right, can I get rid of the creepy art? No. It's interesting that he knows English. We didn't know really ne necessarily know that before. We knew he he could communicate with Jody. But that's him explicitly writing something down on a wall in English. In, in English. Hello, fake number. I wouldn't be surprised if that was some kind of reference to a previous game, like perhaps uh, Indigo Prophecy, which I still haven't played. What's over here on the table? Nothing I can touch. Alright. I think that's about it. You wanna watch TV, Jody? How many remotes do you have? Oh, there we go. All right, let's pretend to love this guy. I didn't behave yourself. Oh, you know he won't. Hey, this is important to me and I'm counting on you. Hi. <laughs> uh Chateau Margot, 2001. The guy in the store said it was a pretty good year. That sounds good to me. So. Okay. Why, why don't you sit? Um, I'll get the um, the thing that opens the wine. <laughs> Nailed it. We got this. Smooth as butter. Full cool apartment. Huh? Yeah, thanks. I didn't. For fuck's sakes. Fun times for all. Spooky ghost attacking your kitchen. This is what we call wacky antics. All right. Also, are we gonna take the thing off the stove at some point? I just assume it's not gonna burn itself, I guess. I'm worried, because I don't know how long it lasts. Do you want me to open it? No, oh, no, I'll do it. New apartment. It's my new apartment. <laughs> wow, so when did you move in? Um, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, the agency found it for me and all furnished and everything, which is it's actually the first place I've ever had just by myself. So it's weird getting used to the idea. <laughs> and how about you, where are you? Did you, did you grow up here? <laughs> no, no, I was born in Oregon. Yeah, my parents and brothers still live there. But I, I moved out when I was 16. 16? Oh. Did you 
could get kicked out or something? Uh, well, things were pretty chaotic at home. My, my stepfather liked to beat me when he had too much to drink, and uh, I just decided to get out before one of us went too far. What a touching moment. Yeah. Do you feel touched? It, it's nothing. It's just... Aiden's messing with us. Ignore him. Ignore him. So I should probably... You know, I'm gonna go check on the dinner because... This cooking thing, it's a whole new adventure <laughs> for me. You need help? No, but why don't you go sit and more wine would be nice. <laughs> okay. Having to figure out whether I ruined everything or not. Yeah. No, I was sent to China for a year. I love Asian food. Oh, well, do not get your hopes up because this is probably the second time that I've cooked and I would rather not talk about the first time. Mm. This is good. Good. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. So we've been working together now for what, what, two years? I mean, almost nothing about you. Well, I mean, there's nothing much to say. No. I grew up with my parents on the DPA campus, and then, and then Nathan looked after me, and well, I mean, you pretty much know the rest. So. Yeah, your parents. Do you, uh, you still see them? No. No, I don't. I'm. I think they were just terrified about how different I was. Yeah, did, did Nathan ever manage to explain to you why you have this link with Aiden? No. I mean, not really. I mean, they learned a lot of stuff about the infra world. Really not much about Aiden. I mean, I, I don't think even he knows who or what he is. <laughs> so, like, is he here now, listening to us? And... Yeah. Yeah, he never leaves me. Run. <laughs> uh, what about you? Do you have Do you have any family here? No, no. My uh, my parents are still in Oregon. Go to see him as little as possible. <laughs> and are you, um, are you married or anything? No, no. I, I, yes, I mean, I, I, I was. You know, my ex-wife and I have been separated for uh, two years. And, uh, yeah, I couldn't work. I mean, it, in the end, it didn't. You know, we had our good times, but uh, eventually we decided to go our separate ways. How about you? Anyone on your radar? I've got Aiden, so. I mean, anyone in our world. And you know what? Aiden kind of has always made people run away. Or, or maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just too odd for anyone to be interested in. You're special, Jody. Ian's got nothing to do with this. Now he's gonna see. Now he's gonna show her his beef.
I know it's petty, but I spent more time cooking that food than they spent eating it. <laughs> I can just grab his foot. Don't pay attention. It's just Aiden. Oh, now you're, you're ignoring the child. Child angry. Child angry. Listen, I, I think I better go. No, Ryan. Look, Aiden is very possessive, and he doesn't want to share you with anyone. So I, I think you got to work it out with him. Are you happy? Because you got what you wanted. He's gone, and now you can have me to your fucking self. I really hope you're deliriously fucking happy. And you can just fucking float in your invisible world and watch me cry. I hate you. I fucking hate you! <laughs> and she got so close! Perfect lover? <laughs> Never alone. Let's see, where's the, where's the breakdown here? Oh, most people cook chicken or beef, specifically meaning not ordering pizza. Most people dress nicely. Only a handful of people make Ryan leave. <laughs> I do not like Ryan, to be honest. But yeah, it's it's a it's an interesting role play perspective to take because you can you can side with either character. One because one character wants it to go one way, the other one wants to go the other way, and you control both of them. So it's a matter of how much you choose to interact with one versus just watch. Most people clean. Oh. Looks like most people walk out of the apartment. And the vast majority of people did not sleep with Ryan. So that's actually the minority choice. Interesting. <laughs>